Hi and thanks for having me. My name is Thomas Holberg. I'm from Tønsberg in Norway. It's the hometown where the Oseberg ship was found in a burial mound from the Viking Age. I've been singing and playing guitar for the most of my life, but I've also played and owned many other instruments, such as drums, basses, synths and uh, percussion and so on. Uh, my singing and playing has for the most of my life just been for myself really. It was until the later years that the common Viking interest brought me to Borre, which is close by, and from there on the musician in me has really come out for others to hear. I was on my way to shoot my bow and arrows for the first time with the members of uh, Borre Viking Logs weekly shootings. I just uh, finished sewing my first set of Viking clothes. I was uh, wearing uh, leather turn shoes, uh, brown linen pants, a green wool tunic and a belt and a hood. And over my chest I had my bow and arrows in my quiver. That's the first time I met up with Espen and Jon and some of the others which, which now has become part of my kind of extended f Viking family. It was uh, the evenings and nights around the campfire at various Viking markets and festivals that we started in the small to sing and play together. First. Some of us, I think it was Birgitta and Hilde and me who started an open singing group under Borre Vikinglag, which we then called Borre Viking Sanglag. It was to have a kind of a foundation for collecting different historic songs and Scandinavian folk music that we would sing together on markets and festivals. Espen also joined in on that project. After a time of various struggles, we thought it was too difficult to get a real consistency in it and, and for it to evolve, so we decided on ending it. Short time after, after that, I was asked by Birgitta and Hilde, who had been singing in this first project if I would like to join in and we should start our own band independent of Borde Viking Lag. Espen and Jon was also asked to join in and soon after we created a real band which after a while got the name Eldrim. My role in the group on stage is mostly playing my lyre, my bowed lyre and uh, backing vocals. Outside of the stage I'm uh, running the accounts, keeping track of most of the emails and I do the distribution of our CDs and merch. And I'm uh, running the rehearsal place. It must be the results of it all combined, I think. Making music, playing concerts, travel to new places and meeting up new friends. I think uh, with more creative minds in a band, it's important that everyone are able to express themselves in one way or another. All the small details and inputs. It's also a very good thing being close friends uh, for the development and the general trust and support. The songs on our debut album Kvile 
is built up of Espen's lyrics and melodies except for the first song Draum that Hilde has written. For me it's important with a good set of social skills, the ability to work together rather than having people just for their musical skills. And we got both very good friends with good music skills. The plan was to play at the Midgarsblot in 2020, uh, but all larger concerts and festivals is now unfortunately fortunately cancelled for now. As we had in the previous years, we was to have our exhibition of our instruments in our Eldrim camp in the Viking village. It is some hard working days and some long nights, but I'm very excited about it. We have recently invested in a lot of new equipment for our rehearsals. Midgarsblot is postponed to 21 and we aim to give you the best concert experience with whole new songs. For other bands and artists that I am personally very excited to see is Vardruna and Heilung again. It'll be great to meet up with good friends, uh, Folke Borta for Noravin again, and uh, simply the rest of our Midgarsblot extended family, old and new friends. I've also had some great times going to concert with new bands that are still unknown to me. I like to travel to historical places like uh, the many rock carvings found in Eastern Norway and down the coast of Sweden. I love walking around ancient stone circles and uh, different sacred places of our forefathers. Uh, I must say I have a fascination about historical and abandoned places. For a few weeks back, our drummer and good friend Jon decided he'd quit the band. So we was looking for a new drummer that can also do vocals. We've also been looking for a fifth member all since the day Birgitta left the band earlier. And now we're so lucky to have them both. Morten Richter has joined in as a drummer and we also got Christopher Iversen on lyre, percussion and vocals. I'm very impressed with them. They both have great personalities and skills. Yes, we've been building a lot of custom instruments. I've got my education in woodworking and been working carpentry and joinery for the most of my life. And I thought just before the start of Eldrim, when we had the other project running, that I could build historic instruments. I first built a lyre for Birgitta and then another one for myself. They came out very well and then I decided to do a small series of four new, new ones. 
It was two more liars, one for Hilde and one more for me, along with two more two bold liars. Right after Espen also wanted his own custom instruments and he started building his own instruments too. Now we've been not only built stringing instruments but also drums and percussions, horns, lur and many more. Almost all the instruments we use in Eldrim today we have custom built ourselves. Uh, I'll play a clip of the song Ein on my lyre so you can have a listen and uh, maybe see the plucking pattern. For the news and updates, I can say that uh, we're now kind of re-establishing the band with our two latest members, Christopher and Morten, learning their parts on uh, the Kvile album and uh, some of the folk songs we play at uh, various Viking markets. Uh, it's just been announced to us that there will be no large concerts or festivals most of this year, so almost all of our booked concerts have been cancelled. But we have new songs coming up and we're in the recording process of the first one. We still got uh, more CDs in stock got this CD of ours in a hardcover book. It got all the lyrics and a lot of pictures. And uh, the CD is in the back. And we have still t-shirts. This is a t-shirt. This is the back. And we got some carry bags. Everything uh, can be bought on our Bandcamp site. So you're welcome. As a closing, I'd like to give a great thanks to all you people supporting by coming to our concerts, following on social media, and for buying our album as a CD or a digital download and a merch. Thank you and we'll see you around. <laughs>